Hey guys, how you doing? I'm back. <laughs> it's been a little while, but I'm back with another studio vlog. Um, life's thrown some curveballs for us over the last couple of weeks, but you know, so things have all kind of changed around in our house. And um, yeah, my working days have now changed. Um, so my working days aren't actually days anymore. They are kind of half days, hours grabbed here and there. Um, and that would be like that for the remainder of this year. And then um, because basically John like does a course on um, Thursdays. So um, come the new year, it will all change again. <laughs> so yeah, the good thing about working for yourself and working from home and all of that is that you can be flexible. And I really like the, the flexibility because you can swap and change to suit you, your life, your needs and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's been a very stressful, very upsetting, very upsetting, very stressful couple of weeks. But you know, I've been able to deal with that process and now we're like we're moving on um so yeah this is the first time really that I have done a bit of work this is the first time really it is half past one um and on a Wednesday of a Wednesday uh Wednesday this Wednesday the 7th of November this is the first time that I'm like sitting down for like a stint so I will probably work until about half five six um and then we'll have tea and the bit but and then maybe I'll pop in for like back for about half an hour while um oh well I'll get John will do bath time and then we like I always do bath bedtime as well because like you know like to read the story and all that kind of stuff so um yeah, so this is the first time I'm kind of like logging in and doing some like, me I would say, I'm going to say meaty work. So that's my elbow rubbing on um on the work surface. I wasn't my bottom, <laughs> you know, just saying. Um, I've got a bit of glitter there. So we've been doing crafts this morning, me and the little one. Um, So I have like glitter. What is it when you use glitter? You suddenly end up with glitter like everywhere in every orifice that you didn't even know you could get glitter in. But what is that all about? So this morning we have been outside and we've been doing lots of like forest school kind of stuff. So um I um but, 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 but been posting like a bit different different um like some of the craft things that me and little one have been doing um on my Instagram channel and then I thought oh my god you know what we are doing so many crafts now we um uh are doing like so many different crafts we that I was like, oh, if I if I continue to put them on my YouTube, I'm not on my YouTube, on my Instagram, um, is my Instagram going to like, oh, I accidentally pressed the volume button on my phone, which stops the filming, um, because I was trying to like readjust my hand, because, you know, I'm not using a tripod, you know that, I'm hand holding. Um, yeah, so I was thinking that if I was going to like keep on posting like all of the craft projects that me and Miss B do, my current Mrs. Brimble's Instagram account would just be completely taken over by like kids crafts, which some people who've got kids would probably like that. But if you haven't got kids or you're not interested in kids crafts, then that would probably like pee you off. So I've set up another Instagram account, which you're very welcome to come and follow me over there. So um, my Instagram Mrs. Brimble's will remain um, stuff for me slash Mrs Brimble's the business so that will remain like um pictures of art that I create for in my journals art that I create create for my patreons like um my planner spreads um and like the new new collections and stuff I'm working on so that will continue on Mrs Brimble's my new account which is the whimsical cloud that is more of a personal account so that's going to be more of like things that I want to just take photos of and share like you know pretty woodland or tea or anything like that but on that account I will also be posting all of the craft projects that we get up to um and all of that kind of thing so if you want to see more kids crafts or or you know because when I as soon as I say kids crafts but I'm going to level with you here oh, I flipping love it as well <laughs> so anything that like miss b does i kind of do as well not only do i like help her guide her show her but i also usually do one as well so and i love it very much so if you fancy following me you're very welcome to it's the whimsical cloud on instagram 
um, yeah, and now I need to kind of knuckle down. I need to work on the um, December collection because that's going to whiz round quicker than, you know, downstairs to get my sketchbook and I grabbed myself just a few little candy corns because sweet treats always help the um, work process go a little bit easier I find. I'm working on the December collection and the December collection is all about um, snow globes so I had to run downstairs and just photograph my sketchbook. I drew this um, sketch of a snow globe as you can see here it is wonky it is hand drawn uh, i i did do it in pencil first and then i totally ballsed it up when doing it in ink so it's gonna need a bit of photoshop or magic um oh yeah that's something i else i did so i've got a couple of circles i need to titivate this one too um i do prefer using a hand drawn one because most of my work is hand drawn but if I can't make it look decent, then I will resort to doing it in Photoshop. But I'd really like to kind of, um, you know, do, do it hand drawn first because I just really like, no, I should just use, I'm terrible. Sometimes I, I know the shortcuts, like the trim shortcut, but I just, I am terrible sometimes at doing it. Sometimes I find it just as easy just to kind of like, I don't know, just to do it manually, you know? Just the way I work. A little bit, a little bit of a fuddy daddy old school. So yeah, just you know, we'll play around with it and get it, get it all looking good and all you know, sparkly and white. So just like use the levels to just play around. Um, yeah, and then and then I get cracking. I've got a lot of illustrations. That I need to put in like I'm going to do some of the illustrations as standalone and then some of them in the snow globes so got a little bit of work ahead of me to go of photoshop we now have a okay looking globe snow globe I'm multitasking but my printer is running out of ink these are for my kiddo and um, so if you hear printing noises in the background that's what it's printing I wanted to show you via the magic of photoshop this is what my globe now um, looks like I painted this picture in um, black and white using watercolors and I turned it into um, a nice brush which I could then use in all different colors to match and so I made it as um, a background for my snow globes I've added some snow in and some trees and yeah i'm just going to start building up and making different snow globes but yeah this is what the no the december collection is going to look like all snow globey 25 past five and i can hear my people downstairs making tea which is exciting because i'm hungry i've been working hard but i thought i'd show you another one a little snow globe that i've been making and i thought i would show you so all of this this glitter i use a lot but this is a photograph i took of a glittery card um so everything has been hand done by me and then just like put together in photoshop everything is a single is it is a layer so you saw that the snow globe was drawn by me the background was painted by me that was that black and white watercolor that's i used i've made it a different color the deer was drawn by me and then I've sort of laid it all up and added flecks of snow and voila, that is the snow globe. And I thought I would show you um, what the sticker sheet looks like. The first sticker sheet, the illustration sticker sheet, there's all my illustrations on there as individual and put together as snow globes as well. So sorry about the wiggly lines, it's because I'm filming my computer monitor, so it does that there we go thought you might like to have a little sneaky peek at that all my snow globes there so there'll be better photos coming on my like instagram and facebook so stay tuned for that if you want to see those hey guys frizzy hair don't care i've had a bath i worked this evening and had a bath and i'm just sitting like john's been doing some work this evening um god i look tired i do look tired I've been up since half past four this morning. Um, 
<laughs> yes, small child. Um, and so yeah, I'm just sitting here. I'm doing some, doing some painting. Um, it's a cross between I'm taking part. Well, I'm not, well. I say I'm taking part. It's a challenge, but I'm doing it for fun, and I'm not pushing myself. If I don't complete it, it doesn't matter. Um, it's folk tale week. Um, it was set up by a group of artists on Instagram. And um, there's a hashtag folktale week, folktale, or hashtag folktale, folk, F-O-L-K, I can't really say it, folk, F-O-L-K, folktale week 2018. There's like a prompt, there's like prompts for the week. Um, so I'm in part doing, doing the day one for that and slash doing it for like my Patreon collage sheets because um, I thought... They're nice prompts, and sometimes, can I say, like, sometimes I have ideas that just, like, spew out, and other times I have to kind of really work at ideas, so sometimes when you see a prompt, I'm, you know, it's quite nice to work with prompts, because I don't have to, like, engage the brain, like, massively, um, and I've just, I've just been having a bit of a disaster, but I'll show you anyway. So, my, my breakfast bar is a complete mess, I was doing stickers with little one earlier today and I haven't tidied it up. So this is the watercolour, you saw this um, earlier today because I was showing you on the computer how I turned it, changed different colours and turned it into the background for my snow globes. Um, this was just a practice run. This is my messy painterly finger from doing splats. That's kind of like the hazard of working with splats. <laughs> Um, and this is what I've been working on. So the first prompt was a forest. And so I thought about doing like a, we're still in autumn, but we're moving through to winter. I was sort of thinking about doing like an autumny winter thing uh, with like a little red riding hood. So this is what I've been working on. And I I had a little, little dilemma, I kind of, wasn't sure, I'd like smudged a bit and then I outlined my image and then I was like, I hadn't outlined her face and I was like, oh, I need to outline her face to make it all fit. So I've just been kind of like, oh, sorry, there's a shadow there. I've just been like toing and froing really with tweaking and working on it and things. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on working on that. And that's just what I've been working on this evening using my, um, watercolors from the Prima watercolors. This is the Essence, um, the Essence collection range product. <laughs> whatever you want to say. I really like it because it's got like a real nice earthy woodland autumnal kind of feel. So these are all the browns and the bronzes and things that I've been using on this. And then the red that I used was from the um, classics. The classics collection um, that's got splatters all over it that was another hazard of a splatter session one day that's acrylic paint um so yeah if you've got anything precious around you when you're doing flicks and splatters then you need to protect them so john's just putting the girls to bed in the background and that's it so this bit of artwork here is already been used it's been and gone so um i'm not really that bothered that i've got like some of the splatters on it from doing this, totally fine with me. But I thought I'd give it a little experiment. I have this nail varnish on my breakfast bar. Um, and it's a Barry M1, molten metal. Don't know what it's called. Um, purple frost, there we go. And it's purple with silver glitter in it. And it's really pretty. Um, plays havoc with your nails. I, I put it on my nails once and the purple all came off and left all the glitter and it took me ages soaking it um, to come off, days of continual like keep on soaking it. Um, so I don't wear it as a nail varnish, but um, I thought I might try and paint some of it on the top, on the on here to kind of make it look like stars. Um, I've got nothing to lose because this piece has already, as I said, this piece has already been used. I've got a photograph of it if I ever want to use it again. Nothing to lose, so I thought I'd experiment. And sometimes you make really horrible mistakes, and other times you make the most fantastic um, discoveries. So I thought I'd give it a bit of a try on in on my first like 
do it kind of went a bit gloopy but I haven't re submerged my brush into the, the pot I've literally just been taking the brush um, and like scrubbing and dragging it dragging it around so it kind of get you know brings it down and round like scratching around but the, this is so this brush is like super super dry I don't know why these silver flakes they're coming up brilliantly like this like they will scratch off but when they're on my nails would they come off I know um so yeah I'm just kind of like as you can see just scratching scratching around and just moving all around and I flipping love it. At first I was like, no, no, it didn't work. But now I think that looks pretty darn awesome and groovy. It's a shame I've got um, a bit of a glare going on with this. So I'll try and zoom in so you can see it better. How flipping awesome is that, eh? Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. So there you go, there's a new little technique if you haven't ever thought of doing that. It looks very moon-like, I think, now, rather than misty misty trees. I'm loving it. Those they just look like they just look like stars. That is pretty awesome. Totally loving that. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Friday. I've just gone and got my cable to plug my phone in because uh, I've got 20% battery and I'm sitting here working away and I'm listening to um, Spotify on my phone. I love Spotify. I so wish that Spotify was around like when I was a teenager. <laughs> um, I wish that smartphones were around when I was a teenager with Spotify and everything that comes. Oh, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't because actually... Um, I was quite happy with my Walkman, <laughs> my Walkman and my Discman. I was quite happy with those things and actual physical books. So maybe I don't, maybe I don't. I'll take all that back. So yeah, I've been sitting here working away to a playlist. Um, I listen to the Easy 80s playlist. Um, I do, I have to say, I do love my 80s. I'm like basically stuck in the 80s because I still love like my Trolls, my Rainbow Bright and all the stuff like that. So I do feel like I am still stuck quite heavily in the 80s, except except where fashion comes in. Um, so yeah, I've been working away to easy 80s today. And um, uh, I'm just getting used to my new, like, working days, working pattern, that kind of thing. So I ended up working for a few hours yesterday on Thursday. And I totally forgot to pick up the camera and do any kind of vlogging. So there we go, win. And it is now midday and I have been working since half past nine. And again, I literally um, just gone on my phone to edit a, edit a video that I want to release, upload and release today on the YouTube. So you'll have seen that by the time you see this. Um, and I went into my iMovie on my phone and I saw that I'd got this vlog in process. And I was like, oh yeah, I kind of started a studio vlog this week. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I decided to pick up the camera again and go, hiya. So I have just finished working on the, um, the December collection, the Snow Go collection. I finished everything. It's quite a big collection. I felt quite inspired this, this time. Um, and I've done dashboards and I've done dividers. I've done extra stickers. Um, so yeah, there's quite a lot in the collection. So that's now all done. Um, I'm just taking a little mini break from that and I'm just editing this video. It's, a, it's um, my friend Deb who runs Crafting Chaos sent me a few little goodies and um, I filmed the unboxing of those. And so I'm just editing that video and doing the thumbnail and everything and I'm gonna get that up on YouTube so that's out. Um, because bless her, she sent it to me ages ago, and um, well, I say ages ago, was it earlier this week? I can't remember, she's in America. Um, and I was desperate to open it, but I also really wanted to film the opening of it because I always think opening stuff on camera you kind of get a better reaction than sort of going back over and doing it. 
Um, so I kind of been waiting and waiting and waiting to open it and I've done that and eek, so exciting. The stuff is just, oh my gosh, glorious, glorious. Um, and then after I've done that, I've got another, I've got a Patreon video that I have done I've, I've just I, I've edited it I just need to like do all the thumbnail and schedule it on patreon and everything um so this month on patreon we are what have we done we've had we've had a chatty vlog we've had a tutorial on um drawing and painting pumpkins so for those people who wanted to kind of um I haven't got my journal I'll show you it in my journal um later I'll try I'll try and remember um for people who want to like document their Halloween or their autumn recipes, that kind of stuff. So we did that. And then the one that I'm just sorting out now is drawing faces. Um, because next month we're going to look at colouring them in and shading and everything. So, um, but we need to draw the faces before we did that. So that's that. I need to record another Patreon video. Um, so I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get that done today. But we'll see. I need to do some more work on Patreon collage sheets as well. But I don't know how I'll get to that today. I don't even know where my to-do list is. I'm currently using... I've got so many to-do lists over the years. I've accumulated them. I'm currently using this one, which is a Phoenix Trading... Phoenix... Is it Phoenix Trading? Phoenix Cards one? How cute is that? It's so cute. I do love a list pad. I have to say, I love a list pad by... Um, the side of my keyboard and so I'm forever like jotting things down like like this has gotten sizes and things on it um, I yeah I very often have like things by the by my side little scraps of paper and things um, because as you're working you kind of you know jot things down I've got little doodles <laughs> doodle, 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 doodle. you should some of the doodles I do while I'm working is just weird and wonderful um but it just kind of helps me to kind of be a bit more organised if I've got like a little something to write on, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, so I'm going to do all those, um, do all those things. And then once I've done all those things, I'm then going to resize all of the um, December collection and, so that they're ready to go on the website. I may get as far as putting them on the website, not live, but scheduled. Um, but we'll see. John is on... Um, child watch <laughs> he's looking after little one today so he's currently hopefully hopefully because i don't know what it is about working <laughs> on the computer um i suddenly become really hungry like i don't normally i'm not a big snack person i'm a big meals person um and um but when i'm working on the computer i suddenly become really hungry and want all the snacks don't know what it is i've been naughty and i've had a packet of crisps this morning um and a cup of tea <laughs> only the one cup of tea which i must complain to the kitchen staff because i've only had one cup of tea <laughs> oh dear it's it's like when i'm downstairs i'm like the kettle is just like permanently on and i'm forever topping up the teapot john not so much so i must write a formal complaint to the kitchen staff about that anyway I should crack on really um because it's hopefully if he's cooking dinner it will soon be um lunch break as you can see my desk is in its usual state this is my art my art and creation desk um underneath the desk is shocking I'm a pig I probably shouldn't show you that I'm in my jammers it's flat Friday night. It's flannelette, babes. Um, yeah. <laughs> you do nothing. You oh, I don't know, about you guys. There's nothing I like more than donning my PJs of an evening, just to mooch around the house. So everything in my house is like covered in glitter because my child has a total glitter obsession. Um, let's face it. I also quite like glitter. To be honest, um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sticking on the glitter. Um, like getting everywhere, but I do like glitter on stuff. And I found a company actually who does um, eco-friendly glitter. So once we've used up our glitter, I'm gonna try and get some of that eco-friendly stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just in here. I've just been on, on, on the computer and made myself a list. Um, I every month I ask my Patreons like requests that they want for their collage sheets 
Um, and this month, this is what people have asked for. Uh, an avocado, a sloth, a kawaii hamster, a snake, houseplants and candles. Um, yeah, I don't know if I could do a kawaii hamster and I don't know about a snake. We'll see. But the others I'm certainly going to... Um, I'm certainly going to give it a go. So I've come to, like, I've got out of my cupboard some of my books for inspiration. So um, this, my mum and dad bought me this last Christmas. So you may have seen this when I did a, um, what I got for Christmas video last year. <clears throat> so Botanical Line Drawing by Peggy Dean. And um, it's a really, really good little book, actually. And it kind of walks you through um, how to how to draw various different plants and things so um i'm gonna draw on get it draw on <laughs> yeah no crappy pun um on this book for some house plants um sometimes you can draw things off the top of your head really really well and you know exactly what you want to draw and what it's going to look like and all that kind of stuff and other times you need to get inspiration I prefer to get inspiration from photography, if I'm perfectly honest. I find that when I try to copy um, other art, it doesn't go very well for me. Um, copying someone else's style doesn't go very well for me. Um, so yeah, I normally I prefer to use photography. But this is pretty, pretty good. So yeah, just giving you a like a flicker through it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use that to try and um, basically come up with some house plants. I do like this little cactus. Um, I can just take my nails. My nails are terrible at the moment. Um, yes, I do love this cactus. And also for like the sloth, I've got two, in, I've got this um, animal encyclopedia by the Kingfisher. It's got library use on them, but I bought these second hand. Um, you know, like when libraries like um, like decommission them and stuff, they sell them off, don't they? Um, so I've got this one, the Kingfisher one, and this one by DK Dorling Kingsley, Animals, a children's encyclopedia. Um, now I have two because I find. Um, I sometimes find like one better than the other. Um, they don't always have um, exactly kind of what I want. And I know I know you can get loads of photos from um, like the internet and stuff. Um, oh, what's that for? <laughs> Gullivers, we never went. Um, I know you can get. Um, photos from the internet but sometimes when I'm sat like either at my desk or um, on the sofa creating I don't always want to be on my phone or have the capacity to kind of like you know be able to sit with my phone as well so having a book is really useful so I'm just going to look at the sloth 236237. Ah, oh, there he is. There he is. There's the little sloth. So that is actually an illustration and not a photo, but it's not too stylized. So there's that one. And let me find one in the other book. Be funny because I thought the sloth was gonna be like a really popular um, a really popular animal. I thought they'd have quite a bit on sloths, but literally there is this one in this book and that one in that book, and that is it. Um, so this one is an actual photograph. Um, so a little bit of a comparison, very similar, very similar, but yeah. So I might use that to draw from, or I might find myself a photo. Uh, another photo we'll see I might have a I might have a little spend some time on Google just having a little Google of some sloths and see if I can find like a better a better position I'm not sure um but yeah so like I was a bit disappointed because I thought sloths would be really popular like rather than that one little photo because um some of them some creatures have got like quite a few um, maybe it wasn't this book, maybe it's the other book actually. 
Um, but yeah, so they're really nice to have. And, um, you know, you can learn as well as you're going as you're going through. Here we go, like giraffes. There's loads of giraffes on that page. And so loads to kind of inspiration to choose from. Whereas, oh, look at that tiger. That is such a beautiful photo. So beautiful. So that's what I'm going to do this evening. I'm going to spend some time... Um, drawing for collage sheets um spent all day today literally all day from half past nine to half past five um i had about a 15 minute lunch break literally i just ate my lunch and then went back to my went back to my computer um and i have got loads done i finished the december collection or the um snow globe collection i finished that that's all done um got various other admin bits and pieces done today and listing of products and stuff so I have worked like a trooper and got loads done so I'm really impressed with myself um and so now it's sit down and do some drawing I try to balance trying to balance because like I've got loads of like personal journaling oh, oh. this was from the unboxing I did from the crafting chaos amazing stuff um yeah I'm trying to balance like juggle at the moment because I've got loads of my own like personal journaling and memory keeping that I want to do but also um work to do and relaxation not that I not that I find like journaling or creating artwork taxing or anything I, I, I well sometimes I do it depends on how early my kids got up <laughs> and what kind of day we've had um she's waking up between like half four and half five at the moment so this clock change thing is just you know totally thrown so um so some days I'm just sometimes I just want to flop on the sofa and just watch telly or just read my book you know rather than like sitting up we don't really watch much telly at all to be honest with you um so we, we normally like we're, we're big readers we normally read um, but yeah, I've got lots of journaling I want to do. I took loads of photos of bonfire night. Um, so I want to stick those in my journal. I printed this off, this off. This is one of my collage sheets for... Um, well, this element was not this. Not this, just this. Um, it was a collage sheet element for November. And I want to... Um, I printed it onto sticker paper. Because it was created in one of my other... In my sketchbook rather than in my journal. And I want to stick that in my journal with my photos. I printed off some extra like word labels that I want to use. So I'm going to see. I'm going to try and juggle. I'm going to do a little bit of drawing and a little bit of journaling is the plan for this evening. And hopefully we can get some kind of, some kind of balance. Um, so I was... Um, this morning I about half past seven there's probably too much information but I'll get there um I like telling long-winded stories so about half past seven this morning I had a bath and um I find a bath in the morning quite luxurious it's quite nice on days where like um like John doesn't have to didn't have to go to work today so yeah it was quite nice to have like a bit of a bath a bit of me time um didn't have long, not long at all, but I did have a bath. Um, anyway, when I have a bath, <laughs> I like to watch some telly or YouTube when I'm in the bath. And um, I know it kind of sounds a bit weird, but it's not. Like, it's weird. Do you know, it's like relaxation time. I've got this like wooden holder thing for my for my phone, which I put up on my sink, like my shelf sink thing near the bath. Not not right next to the bath, so there's no fear of it getting wet. Um, and I like to watch a bit of YouTube. I find it really relaxing and yeah, that's what I do in the bath. I watch YouTube. Sorry if that creeps you out, guys. <laughs> but it is what it is. Anywho, I was watching um, Flip Through today by James Burke of his um part three of his little raven ink of inktober sketchbook challenge book journal um and he mentioned something which i've noticed a lot of people sort of mentioning quite a bit lately and that is about having balance and basically like spending time for yourself um you know doing your own journaling making time for yourself um having an off-camera journal kind of thing and 
yeah, about like you shouldn't spend all your time kind of doing work stuff, you should do personal stuff and things. And I was like, I nod the head. I'm like, yes, yes, I agree, I agree, I agree. But then, and, and then I started to feel like, sort of beat myself up a bit, because I was like, well, I don't do that, I don't do that, I don't do that. But then I'm like, I keep trying to tell myself, it's like, cut yourself some slack, man. You, you have a small child, and some of these people who um, are doing like a lot of art and journaling for themselves, as well as running a creative business, they don't all have small children. And I basically work about 15 hours a week at random times. And the other times, I'm a full-time mum. And I have to have family time. Not have to have, want to have family time. It's very special. I have family time and time for me to rest and, like, not be crazy. I mean, some weeks I do more than 15 hours. But I try... Most of the time, I do about 15 hours. Um, and so it's... Well, I say 15 hours. 15 hours where I'm kind of, like desking it the hours that I spend of an evening where I'm just kind of like doing a bit of sketching and stuff I don't really count so probably I do about 20 20 to 20 half hour 20 to 25 hours a week I would probably say but you need time to kind of look after yourself and rest as well and I'm like oh gosh I don't have time to like juggle everything but it's still good because I still feel like there's someone creeping up behind me hello <laughs> are you going downstairs yeah okay see you soon put the kettle on okay. we bought mince pies today and oh can I have a mince pie and a cup of tea um yeah so it's I don't necessarily feel like that because um when I'm creating for the collage sheets I still feel like I'm being creative and because I enjoy it it's that still makes me happy and yeah so it kind of feels like that that kind of bursts that creative bubble in an ideal world I'd love to have like all this time that I can spend on like art for myself and journaling and memory keeping and all that but it doesn't happen like I would just end up a frazzled, burnt out mess otherwise. So I'm kind of happy with the balance for now and I try not to beat myself up that I do have a young family and I will have plenty of years ahead of me when kids grown up and doesn't want to know me that I can, <laughs> you know, when she's a horrible teenager that just wants to like spend all her time in her room. Um, I've got all that time then to do lots of journaling and art and stuff. So all is good. So I've been doing my watercolour, as you saw, I started with a really light base, then a medium base, then a dark base, going through with lots of, lots of lines to try and give the effect of fur, um, because sloths are quite furry. Um, 
And yeah, I might, oh, I need to let this dry a bit. So I might call it that for this evening and kind of go back and do some more tomorrow. Um, possibly with my Prisma colours and pen, put in the face details. I need to, I have a little bit of bleeding going on here. Um, but I was just trying to get the shape right of his face. But I think I'm going to go in with ink and put his eyes and his nose in um, with ink. But I want to make sure that this is like perfectly dry before they before they do that before I do that um so yeah it's the first time I've ever done a sloth um uh, I'm fairly fairly happy with his shape um still undecided on the color at the moment but yeah so I'm gonna leave it to dry um and then possibly tomorrow because it's getting fairly late in the evening now and I think I might just chill out and um watch a bit of telly I've also done some of my own um, some work in my own like personal work in my journal. I'm doing this um, in my journal. Um, I'll pop a photo in so you can see the reference photo that I've been that I've been using for him.